Alright guys, we're going to heat treat a couple knives today. I'll go show you my process. I've recently kind of changed the way I do it just a little bit. I got my stainless steel uh, sink forge going over there. I got a barrier file knife in there warming up right now. We're going to bring it up to critical temperature. And that is a piece of PVC tube right there. It has, um, I forget what kind of oil it is, it's motor oil basically. Uh, this happens to be unused motor oil. I just had access to some. And okay, we're going to bring that knife up to critical temperature here in a minute. And here's one of the ways we tell how to do that. Just a cheap $5 Harbor Freight magnet. Can't, well, yeah, it sticks to the end. Pretty, pretty solid. There it goes. So, pretty, pretty strong magnet there. See if you can see it. Okay, you can see we're starting to get a little bit of red heat there. We've lost our magnetism right there, but it's still pretty strong there, so I need to heat this part of the blade and that part of the blade as well and get a nice even heat. But we'll show you something else real quick. Lesson I just learned. You're supposed to preheat your oil to about 400 degrees. I don't really, I don't take the temperature on it. I don't have anything to do that with. I just haven't bought it yet. But I have an old farrier file here, one that I'll use for a future project. I just heated it up and stuck it down in that oil. But as you stick it in the oil, it catches fire usually. And if you do it like this, with your hand, well, yeah, I'll make sure I go beside it so I don't stick it back in there. But with your hand this way, those flames come right up your arm. I'm missing a few hairs. That's how I know. So if you're going to try this, hold it like that so it doesn't get you. I've never used the gas forge. I like charcoal just because I like charcoal I guess I don't know I, I like uh, I like the, the coal fire but this is where the advantage of, of a gas forge really comes in is that you got the ability to heat that whole thing up nice and smooth and even whereas on this I have a real small pot on this and so I can only heat about a oh about a six inch area really evenly so I do have to keep moving my knife back and forth and anything large that I try to, to heat to a constant temperature I got to move it back and forth quite a bit to get that even temperature across there, because if you don't do that, your uh, your heat treatment just won't be as good. Yeah. So you can see now I've got no magnetism. I got a little bit right at the base, but that's okay. I'm gonna heat that part just a little bit, then we'll close it. Step back. See that flame? Yeah. You really, really don't want that on your uh, on your arm, shooting up your arm. Sucks, trust me. Now I'm going to suggest if you guys try this, you use a get a four inch PVC to do it with. It just gives you more room to play. It depends on really on what you're making. These big farrier file knives take up quite a bit of space. If I can remember, I'll come back here and put a link to the video in there. Forget whose channel it was. But I was watching a, a guy doing some blacksmithing the other day. It was a, a new channel I just started watching. And he was showing the, the steps of just heat treating, I think you call it normalizing, but heat treating the metal three, four, five times. And I was really surprised at the change in the grain structure when you did that. He just took some, some 1095 carbon steel and cut off a, a section, you know, I don't know. It was probably a foot or so and then cut it into little chunks. I really actually didn't cut it, he just scored it is what he did. He scored it into even sized pieces and then he treated it once, put it in his vise, broke it off at, at each score line. He'd break one piece off and he would reheat treat it, do it again, break another piece off and when he broke it and lined them up you could see it was a very noticeable difference in the, the grain structure inside of the steel. It really seems to have an effect. So I'm going to try that. Alright, here comes number two. All just the double. All right, go for at least one more. 